Good evening again, everyone. Um, today I will be talking about um, adding or managing categories and subcategories in your open cart store. Uh, so once again, we're going to be talking on pinkdaliaboutique.com, and um, I'm going to be talking about categories. How you can add categories. You know, ultimately you want to have products in your categories, so. Uh, you want to be able to have, um, you know, your products ordered in a very constructive way on your website. So let's go ahead and head back to the back end. Uh, typically, when you log into OpenCart, this is what you see, the dashboard. Um, but for categories, you want to go on the catalog, which is where you go to, and you click on categories. And this shows you all the categories you have within OpenCart. And um, here you could add a category. Um, if I go ahead and add a new one called Chris, uh, meta, anything that says meta, meta keywords, meta description, this is strictly for search engine optimizers or crawlers. This is for their information. So I can go Chris category, I can type, and keywords, Chris, description of this category, this is uh, readable, this is for us humans. And uh, you can go Chris. Data. This is where you set um, what this category is associated with. You know, if this is going to be a parent category, you leave that as none. If it's going to be a subcategory, uh, let's go ahead and make this a subcategory of rings. Um, that's what you do over there. And uh, for SEO keywords, you want to go ahead and select Chris. You could use commas. So rings. Um, for images, you could select an image for a particular category as well. So let's go ahead and use this as our image. Or you can upload an image as well. So I selected one from the server already, but if you wanted to use one from your PC, you could just uh, click on upload and upload one directly to your PC. From your PC, sorry. Um, so next tab would be the top. This displays the menu in the top bar. And this is the top bar right here. So if you want your menu uh, your category to show up in this menu, you want to check that guy. Um, this is the default columns um, used for the category. Only, this only works um, on the top category anyway. And this sort, sorting defines uh, where this category should show up in the list of subcategories on the rings. And uh, last but not least is you want to enable the new category. So you can disable and enable a category whenever you feel like. Um, last tab at the top is uh, if you have a specific theme for a category or different parts of your store, you could go ahead and select that here. This is usually not used if you have a custom store as we do on pinkdaliaboutique.com. So let's go ahead and save this. As you can see, under the category, the parent category of rings, we have a subcategory for Chris which subcategories are denoted by the greater than sign. So as you can see, rings and Chris, that is a subcategory of rings. And if I go to my main website and I refreshed this page, if I roll my mouse over rings, as you can see, I have a subcategory called Chris. And if I click on Chris, it shows you what the category picture for Chris is, but I have no products on the Chris. So assuming I mean, I know I talked about this in my last video, but uh, assuming I wanted to add a quick product to to Chris on the rings, Chris, which is a subcategory on the rings, I would just go to Catalog, Products. I can come here and insert a new product. I'm just going to go through this really quickly. Product name, let's call this a brass ring. Um, meta tab, description, brass ring, keywords, brass ring, description. Brass ring is cool. Data, what's my model number? I'm just going to call it ring one. Um, price for my ring is $49.99. Is this a taxable product? Yes, I want it to be taxed. Um, how much do I have in stock? I have 25 in stock. What's the minimum order someone can purchase this product? How many can this product be purchased at a minimum? Let's keep that at one. Do I want to subtract this for my stock of 25? Yes. Every time someone buys one, I want it subtracted. 
if I'm out of stock, what do I want to display? Mm, let's go ahead and display uh, pre-order. You know, is this a shippable product? Do I want to ship it? Does it require shipping? Yes, it does. Do I have a SKU? Mm, yeah, I do. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have a UPC? No, I don't. Is it required? No, it doesn't. Uh, anytime you see the red asterisk, that denotes a required field. So if you look down the list, if it doesn't have that, technically isn't required for you to add this product. Uh, SEO keywords, let's go ahead and call this Chris, comma rings. Do I have a picture for this? Yes, I do. I can upload a picture to my server and use it, or I can use pictures that already exist on my server. Let's go ahead and use that. Um, when is this product available? It's available today. What are the dimensions? You know, if I have UPS or USPS shipping hooked up, I want to set all that up. Next tab, links. What does this go? I want this to go in my rings, uh, Chris subfolder, and maybe rings as well. Um, do I want uh, an attribute? No. Do I want options? Maybe it comes in different colors. I could, but I don't want to. Uh, discounts. Do I have a discount for this particular product? I could add a discount. You know, if you buy five, you know, priority of zero, maybe you get, you know, five dollars off. You know, and it starts on the 29th, ends on the 30th. After the 30th, the discount no longer exists. Do I have a special for this product? Very similar to your discounts, but no, I don't. Do I have additional images for this product? Mm, I can add as many as I want. I could select the image from the list of images I have on my server. You know, I could upload the image. Uh, let's go ahead and use those two. Do I have reward points? Let's see. This ring is worth about 60 points, and every time you buy this ring, you gain five points towards your store. I mean, you know, added to your account and uh, wholesale customers, you get maybe two points. Design. No, I don't need to change the design. Let's go ahead and save that. As you can see, I have a new product, brass ring, under my category for Chris. If I go ahead and refresh this page, you will notice I now have one product under my category for Chris. Right there, Chris. Chris one, I have a product. And if I were to click on this product, that is my image, that is my model number. You get five points if you bought this product. You can either buy this product for $90 or you can buy it for 60 points. Um, these are additional images for this product. You know, you could toggle that way to see all images. Um, you can add it to your cart. Just very simple to use. That's a description of my product. I mean, it's just, you could not get any easier using an open uh, source shopping cart to run your online store, online business. I hope this was helpful. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, let me know. It's chris at crystallization.com or it's crystallization.com if you need to chat with me live. Um, once again, this was a tutorial on how to add a category or subcategories to your open cart store. Um, and also a quick touch on products, adding products to your categories as well. I hope this was helpful and um, hope to see you around. Have a good day.